Can you give me a counter? Okay, I'd like to welcome everybody tonight to our uh, August town board meeting. And before we get started, I'd like to just say the pledge. Everybody stand up. Flag here. I pledge allegiance to the, the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. and to, to the, the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, before we get started, I'll just say who we have with us tonight. We have Councilman Regalbaum, Councilman Bedetti, Councilwoman Santiago, Town Attorney Dave Zagon, and we also have our Town Clerk, Kelly Allegra, and our IT specialist, Patrick May. So the first item on the agenda is a uh, public hearing regarding uh, the temporary moratorium. And what we want to do is uh, anybody who wants to speak to this, this has to do with the uh, first responders, in particular the Valescape Fire Company, asking for some relief from this moratorium. And at this point, I'll open the public hearing. If there's anybody online or sending us an email, I'll wait a few minutes to see if they come on. And can you hear me? Or can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear uh, Steve Sager. Steve Sager. Yes, we can. Steve Sager from I, the Valescape Fire Company. I, I know I'm a little dark in the background here. I just wanted to uh, thank the town board for the moratorium. Um, as you know, uh, our building is 62 years old and, and the fire trucks themselves don't always fit in. We have to special order them to get in here along with some roof leaking and other uh, upgrades. We're actually replacing our building. So we're really not increasing any services to the town. And uh, by doing this, we also get to take advantage of the low bond rates uh, by doing it now compared to uh, probably in a year or two when things start to go up. So I just wanted to thank the town board for taking this into consideration and hopefully it all, all goes well. So what exactly are you going to do there, Steve? So we're going to actually do a teardown of our building and replace uh, the new building um, pretty much with the same amount of bays. Um, and, you know, uh, we're actually going to also build a service building, which we actually have a small one to our rear of our fire uh, company now. And uh, we're going to put that over on property already owned by the fire company itself. So um, we're replacing the firehouse, basically brand new firehouse. Hopefully it's going to last 50 to 75 more years. Yeah, well, you guys always do a great job. And how long you you guys anticipate this project taking? Start to finish. Well, if we state this timeline that we're looking for, we're looking to break ground in the spring, um, out the vote for the bond in December. And uh, we're looking at maybe a two year time period that we're going to be building here. Okay, and there would be no interruption in, in fire protection services? No, the uh, services will be the same. Um, we are actually going to phase it in so that there's room for fire trucks in different parts of the uh, complex here at the Valesgate Fire District and then be able to respond out of here. That's our plan right now. If not, we're looking at temporary buildings on the property or elsewhere. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, any council members have any questions that I didn't cover there? Okay, so uh, I thank you for for coming on tonight to explain to us what you're actually up um, going to try and accomplish over there, which let me say what you will accomplish and what you guys always do. So thanks for, for letting us know. And I'm going to leave it open for a minute or so more, see if there's anybody else that wants to comment on this, anybody else in the public? We have one other person on the call, uh, Charles Gottlieb. Okay. Yeah. I'll you. Hi, this is Charles Gottlieb. I actually uh, represent Stewart Hill LLC. So um, I was just joining the meeting and uh, monitoring that project. I have no no comments on the current public hearing application. Okay, thank you. Anybody on emails? Okay, so at this point, General Antenna Motion Town Board Town of Windsor closed the public hearing regarding adoption of Local Law Number Four, 2020, entitled Local Law to Amend Local Law Number One, 2020, entitled Temporary Moratorium on All Development Approvals in the Town of Windsor. Motion. Uh, move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum. Yes. Councilman Bedetti. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Supervisor Myers. Yes. 
Amy Mel Jackson, Tampa Town of Winds, received a file reply from the Orange County Department of Planning regarding received pursuant to New York State General Municipal Law Section 239-1 M and N regarding the adoption of Local Law Number 4 2020. Entitled the local law to amend local law number one 2020 temporary moratorium all development approvals in the town of New Windsor. So what is required that we need to send this request to the county and get a reply from them and they have replied that in their humble opinion, this looks okay. Chairman, Chairman motion town board town of Windsor. In accordance with New York State Constitution, Article 9, Section 2C, Municipal Home Rule Law, Section 10, and the resolution annexed here too. Does hereby adopt Local 4 2020 entitled the Local Law to amend Local Law Number 1 2020 entitled Temporary Moratorium and direct the town clerk to publish same pursuant to applicable law. Applicable law. Motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum. Yes. Councilman Debevi. No, abstain. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Supervisor Myers. Yes. Okay, so we'll take this under consideration. We'll get back to that. Okay, the next item on the agenda is a um, public comment period on any of the agenda items. So there's about 24 agenda items. So if anybody has any comments, I'll from the public, so I'll pause for a couple minutes and see if anybody pipes in. Anybody else that's on the call, if you'd want to speak, just unmute yourself and go ahead and with your comments. Any emails there, Mel? Okay, I'm guessing there's no one wants to comment on this. So I just had a couple of comments myself just about the storm that the town's gone through. There's about 7,000 residents that, in the Windsor that are struggling with the power outage. There's a couple of roads that I think are still closed due to, uh, we need to get Central Hudson out to kind of move some wires before we clear the road. The problem was our trees getting knocked down from the wind and uh, our highway department and recreation department did a great job clearing up the debris. The police department once again was out there doing a good job there directing traffic and we closed the parks. We thought we closed them for a couple of days, but the parks are now all open except for Plum Point. Plum Point Park is not open because the county portion is closed and they control the main gate. So we can't get into that. I've been told that the county anticipates opening their Plum Point Park tomorrow. So our park in Plum Point should be open. So I encourage our residents to uh, continue to use the parks. As you know, we've upgraded the parks now in the Recreation Department under Matt Vernici and Keith Videtti doing a wonderful job getting the parks up to snuff. Okay, Chairman and Tenney Motion Town Board in Windsor approved the minutes of the regular town board meeting held July 1st, 2020 as per the copy of those minutes posted on a town clerk's bulletin board and town hall and same having been distributed to each of the town board members. Motion? So moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Videtti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Uh, Stephen, maybe you should just, I, I should have did, did this during the public, why you abstain from that vote? Um, uh, active member of the Vasky Fire Company. Okay, so that's why you abstain, which I think was a good idea. Okay, him no objection, town board, town of Windsor. I receive and file the attached change order number two with the Nini Callahan Excavating Incorporated for elimination of number two, 124 LF of number of eight inch DIP water main due to existing water main offset and installation of two eight inch gate valves for water main installation purposes. Total net change resulting from the change order is a credit to the town in the amount of $13,020. You don't hear that a lot, a credit to the town. So. Kudos to the name Callahan. 
Henry O. Jackson, Town Board Town in the Windsor, shall receive and file the attached change order number one with an Indian calendar and excavating the amount of $15,000 for the addition of a meter vault and vault train and connection to the city of Newburgh catch basin in accordance with the requirements of the city of Newburgh. What this is about is we making that line that when the aqueduct shuts down, we can take some water from the city of Newburgh. They had some requirements for us to hook into their line and one of them was building this meter vault. And the cost was borne solely by the town of the Windsor residents. So if the city of Newburgh ever wants to go the other way, we'll make sure that they kick us $7,500 to pay their fair share. General Lieutenant Motion Town Board Town of the Windsor authorized the town clerk to advertise pursuant to law calling for a public hearing to be held on the second day of September 2020 at 7 p.m. and in the Windsor Town Hall 555 Union Avenue in the Windsor, New York to hear all persons of the town of the Windsor in all sewer districts interested in the sewer assessment rule for 2020. Motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Rangelbaum. Yes. Councilman Bedetti. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Supervisor Myers. Yes. So our town assessor will be at that meeting to hear any comments about the sewer assessment role. Hearing no objections, the town board town of the Windsor receiving file utility easement agreement among Nicole Blaho, also known as Nicole Travisi, and Evelyn Sickler, Donnell Appleton, and Raina Reed, and Esther Offey, and Dixon Moore. In the town of the Windsor dated April 15th, 2020, and recorded in the Orange County Clerk's Office on the sixth day of July, 2020, in legal 14767 at page 1598 for a permanent utility easement to accommodate water, sewer, and drainage. So this was uh, an easement that the town allowing her to hook into a sewer lateral. So that just has to do with some sanitation issues we need to clear up. This is part of that same uh, easement. Here, no objection, Town Board Town the Windsor receiving file outside sewer user agreement, an easement between Nicole Vlaho, also known as Nicole Trevisi, and the Town of the Windsor dated April 15, 2020, and recorded in the Orange County Clerk's Office on the 6th day of July, 2020, in Libra 14767 at page 1616, to connect to a single family home located at 128 Bethlehem Road in the Windsor, New York, and identified in the Windsor text maps as section 24 block 6 lot 52 to the town's municipal sewer system. So this is just allowing her an outside user agreement and she will pay the normal fee that everybody else pays. Next item on the agenda is still in the motion town board town in the Windsor pursuant to town law section 267-2 hereby appoint Gregory A. Biasati 217 Summit Drive in the Windsor, New York to serve as the chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Motion. Move. Give me a second. Me second. Go. Sorry. That's all right. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum. Yes. Councilman Bedetti. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Supervisor Myers. Yes. Okay. So Greg Biasati will be the new chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals. The members of the Zoning Board of Appeals recommended to the town board that Greg be appointed as the chairman. So the town board has just Gone along with the Zoning Board of Appeals members and the Board of Appeals and the Chair Lintana Motion Town Board Town of Windsor pursuant to, to New York State Town Law 267-2 and number 7653, opinions of the State Controller hereby appoint John McDonald Esquire as attorney for the Zoning Board of Appeals for the remainder of the year 2020, effective immediately. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Okay, so John McDonald will be our new attorney for the zoning board. John's taken on this additional duties and he always performs admirably for the town. I appreciate him doing that. General Zane, motion Town Board Town of Windsor pursuant to Town Law Section 267.8 of the Town Law Section 267.11a, appoint as an alternate to the Zoning Board of Appeals George Rodriguez of Six Brandon Court in the Windsor, New York. Term shall commence immediately and expire December 31st, 2024. Motion. So moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum. Yes. Councilman Bedetti. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Supervisor Myers. Yes. So George will uh, now become a member of the zoning board. There are several openings in the council. 
the assessment board of review, there's an opening on the zoning board, there's a couple on the planning board. So if there's anybody that's running in this and would like to be considered for an appointment, they can send a letter to my office, I'll distribute it to the town board, and then we'll uh, get together and see if we can make some appointments. General Anthony Motion Town Board Town the Winds to hereby amend the 2020 schedule fees as follows and direct the town clerk to receive the standard schedule of fees accordingly. Building and inspection fees. So this will be something new. Number five would be stormwater protection plan commit $50. Second is a stormwater pollution protection review escrow fee of $4,000. Each mis miscellaneous letter requested from the building inspector, fire inspector, town engineer, and planning board engineer, $50, and a lawn sprinkling permit for $50. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regebaum? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Meyer? Yes. This has to do with we're having some people tying up our engineer with lots of questions and uh, taking up a lot of time. And we kind of noticed there was nothing in the schedule of fees. So the town was paying the fees themselves. So we've now adjusted this. So anybody who's speaking to the engineer about the stormwater, the stormwater projects will be paying their own fee and the town will not be picking up the fee. Here, no objection, Town Board Town of Winds receive and file the attached application of the Stewart Hill Industrial Park for administrative relief from local law number one, 2020. And now we have the chair will entertain a motion. Town of Winds are hereby call a public hearing on the request for Stewart Hills Industrial Park for administrative relief from local law one, 2020, temporary moratorium. Said public hearing will be held September 2nd, 2020 at 7 p.m. either in person at Town Hall, 55 Union Avenue or by video conference and teleconference on the same date and time and with a link to log on and participate by computer and the phone number and access code to call in and participate by telephone, each made available to the public by the town clerk in a timely manner pursuant to law. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Meyer. Yes, so we will have a public hearing in September on uh, Stuart Hills looking for relief from the moratorium. So Chairman Lantana Motion Town Board hereby determined that Empire Properties LSC has failed to meet its burden of demonstrating by clear and convincing evidence, including dollars and cents proof, a right to administrative relief from the temporary moratorium in accordance to prevent an unlawful taking of property and prevent an irreparable debt. <laughs> and in accordance with the resolution annexed here to and the application is denied. Motion? Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum? No. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Okay, so that uh, is, is denied. And that is the end of that in November. Chair Lent, 10 March, the Town Board Town Board to authorize supervisor to execute Justice Court Assisted Program Grant application for office furniture, office equipment, office supplies in the amount not to exceed $30,000. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers. Yes. Uh, so I'd like to thank Chris Tazio, who's the chief court clerk, for putting this together. And she's submitted a grant for $30,000. And hopefully we will get, if not the whole amount, something. So we're giving her an A for record here. <clears throat> Chairman, Lieutenant Motion, Town Board, Town of Windsor, authorizes supervisors to execute an intermissible agreement between the Town of Windsor and the Town of Monroe. For the purposes of utilizing the Town of the Windsor's information technology offices to assist the Town of Monroe on an as needed basis in establishing configuration, maintenance, and oversight of the Town of Monroe's computers, servers, peripherals, network infrastructure, hardware, geographical information services, radio communications, telecommunications, project management, as well as its website and email services. Motion? We moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? 
Yes. Supervisor Myers. Yes, we have about 17 or 18 different municipalities that we provide these internet, uh, services to, uh, these technology services. And they're each charged a certain amount each hour for the employee that we send out there. And it's certainly the fee is a whole lot more than we paid the employee hourly. So we'll continue to do this until we take a look at the budget for 2021 and just make sure that this is is a money maker and not costing us money. Chairman Lantana Motion, Tom Motana Winds, who authorizes the solicitor spent to Nicholas Minultulo, president of Nick's Enterprises Incorporated, doing business at Nick's Hot Dogs, number two, to operate a mobile food service establishment selling hot dogs, soda, and snacks. Permit to be, shall be obtained from the town clerk's office. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. This is, Nick is a veteran and he is allowed to do this under law, so we have no other recourse but to grant his request. Chairman no objected, Town Board Town and Windsor receiving file with the Town Clerk the attached statement of an annual financial and operating information dated June 1st for the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2019. It has to do with our bonds and then we have somebody come in and take a look at things and I guess things are looking okay. So the Comptroller's Office under Jack Finnegan and, and Doreen Scheibel are doing a great job and I appreciate their work. Him no objection, Town Board Town and Windsor receiving file the attached verified complaint in the matter of New York State Division of Human Rights on the complaint of Brian Abrams versus the Town of the Windsor Police Department. So I'll speak to this in a minute. <clears throat> Hearing no objection, Town Board Town of the Windsor receiving file the attached decision and order of dismissal for the untimeliness in the matter of the New York State Division of Human rights on the complaint of Brian Abrams versus the town of the Windsor Police Department. This was a, in my opinion, a frivolous complaint, but it was untimely, so it was dismissed by the Human Rights uh, Division. So that's the end of that. Name no objection. Town board town of the Windsor receiving file the attached notice of appeal in the matter of John and Heather O'Neill versus the town of the Windsor Planning Board and Stuart Hills LSC appealing decision in order of the Orange County Supreme Court dated and entered on March 10th, 2020. There's some litigation going on here between the residents out there and the planning board and Stewart Hill. So we're just receiving a file on that. Here, no objection, Town Board Town of the Winds receiving file the insurance flood insurance policy for the period of August 13th, 2020 to August 13th, 2021. This is just one of our many insurance policies that the town holds. Here, no objection, Town Board Town of the Winds receiving file the performance bond ERL 1900472 from Capital Indemnity Corporation, the amount of 150,000 for the improvements to an intersection at New York State Route 207 Hudson Valley Avenue, pursuant to the Town of the Windsor Planning Board resolution, granting final site plan approval for Amazon.com services, truck transfer terminal site and special use permit application planning board 2010 as authorized by the town board on July 1st. Let me just read the next one I explained about. Name no objection, Town Board Town of Windsor, receiving file of performance bond ERL 1900471 from Capital Indemnity Corporation, the amount of $20,000 with a post occupancy study of an intersection of Route 207 Hudson Valley pursuant to the Town of the Windsor Planning Board's resolution, granting file final um, site plan approval for Amazon, Amazon.com services, truck transfer, terminal site, and planning and special use permit application planning board. 20-01 is authorized at the town board on July 1st, 2020. This is just a couple of uh, bonds, performance bonds posted by Amazon to ensure that they will complete what they had committed to in the planning board process. Here, no objection, town board, town of Windsor, receiving a final agreement dated the 23rd day of June, 2020, between the County of Orange, town of the Windsor, for participation in Orange County's inoperable digital trunk radio communication system upgrade P25 system to improve communications capabilities within Orange County. This is the New Windsor Police Department signing on to the county's um, public safety emergency radio communications. And we were the last municipality, I think, to sign on. I just mentioned that Chief Dawson and his staff did a good job reviewing this to make sure we were getting into something that we should get into. 
Hear no objection. The town board town of Windsor shall receive and file with the town clerk attached monthly reports for the following departments for July 2020. Justice Cal Calderon, Justice Myers, Police Department, Building Department, Recreation Department, Tax Receiver Utility Report, Town Clerk, and the Windsor Volunteer Airman's Call, all of July 2020. Okay, so that kind of wraps that part of the meeting up. And the next item on the agenda is the public forum. Before I open this up to the public, I'd just like to ask that we take a moment of silence for all the New Windsor residents who have passed away from the coronavirus 19. And uh, this request came in from Jean Antonelli, who is one of our favorite residents here, asking that we do this tonight to uh, just remember those folks who passed away from this terrible virus. So we'll just take a moment before we open the public hearing. Okay, I'd just like to thank Gene for uh, stopping by tonight to uh, ask me to put this forward during the public forum. Um, okay, so at this point, I'll open the uh, meeting on the public forum and for any comments on anything at all that's going on in the town. And we'll wait a while to see if anybody comes in. Two people on a phone call. Okay, anybody on a phone call? Yes, speak up. Charles Gottlieb. Charles Gottlieb. Hi, uh, again, Charles Gottlieb from Whiteman, Osterman, and Hannah. I was just here to see if the board had any questions about the Stuart Hill application. Um, if not, we look forward to the public hearing on September 2nd. Okay, Charles, yeah, at that point, we'll, we'll have any discussion that any of the board members want to have. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you. Anybody else? Is somebody else touching? John T. O'Malley. Mr. O'Malley, how are you? I'm doing great. I have no comments or questions. You're doing a great job. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, John. I appreciate the help that the board gives me and our employees. It's not possible for me to do this by myself. So everybody's pulling in the same direction, and I appreciate that every day. Stephen, you have nothing to say? Unmute him. You have nothing to say? I don't want Dave yelling at me. Okay. <laughs> well, Dave's going away from yeah. you, so you can take that. I'm going to keep it on uh, mind at ease. Okay. Thanks, Dave, for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dave travels, Dave. Yeah. Have a good time. All right, Chairman, Lieutenant Motion, Town Board, Town of Windsor, adjourn the Town Board meeting at 7.30 p.m. Motion. Move. Second. Call. Councilman Regenbaum. Yes. Councilman Bedetti. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Supervisor Myers. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Patrick, good job again. And Katrina Rapper, good job again. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. We down?